Hello and welcome to another episode of Shed Manufacturing. In today's installment, we'll be getting into the wiring of the BMW. I am going to be converting the car to a wasted spark system rather than its factory distributor and single coil type. It's overall going to be a lot better for our turbocharged application and to be running the wasted spark, we'll have to use this quad spark uh, by DIY Auto-Tune uh, module and we'll be converting the wire ends to the MSD style. Uh, other than that, we'll be wiring all of those things into the car and I'll have to find and make a mount for the, the wasted spark coil module. This isn't some of the, the most exciting part of building cars, but it is very much a necessary part if you want to make a good, reliable vehicle. Let's get into it. So from the factory, this BMW had the distributor come off the, the front of the, the camshaft. We'll be foregoing that in place of our wasted spark unit. And I think I'm going to have it mounted right around here. It's a nice factory shelf that already exists, and I think it'll be totally fine once we put some rib nuts in and secure it. So the process for converting the plug wires from BMW to the universal MSD style is pretty simple but tedious. You cut off the old end, cut away the shielding and crimp the electrode, and then crimp the insulator. Slide the assembly onto the pretty MSD boots and uh, you just rinse and repeat after that. So today is somewhat spiraled, uh, and what began as a simple quad spark and wasted spark setup uh, install uh, sort of became installing the whole ECU system that I have. So I'm going to try and break it down for you to make it a bit more simple for you, um, and I, uh, I've laid everything out to make it a bit more simple for me. So. What we have is a mega squirt plug and play two setup, and that's going to be running this aftermarket coil pack through this driver. Now, I had to figure out what my inputs were going to be into the auxiliary port for this because a, a plug and play system is different to a regular mega squirt. This plugs into the factory BMW plug for the ECU, but then I have the provision to have extra things that the BMW never had, such as this wasted spark system, and also this wideband system, which I haven't even touched on today yet. So I went online and I found out all my pins. So I've got all of my outputs for the quad spark, which will get pinned into this connector which will plug into here, and then these will go to my spark plugs. But those need to be driven by these three wires, which will be connected through a harness uh, that I haven't made yet into these three wires here. Uh, the order of those is paramount, and I sticky noted them so I wouldn't forget. Um, and this is also the plug where my oxygen sensor uh, my wideband oxygen sensor, which is this, which is an Innovate uh, wideband controller and sensor. 
So that is going to be my input that'll mesh into this. So the computer will be able to run wideband data and have a better picture of the AFR. Um, and so I suppose I should get cracking. I, I have a bit of wiring to do. My preferred method when I have the luxury of a connector is just to crimp my connections and uh, well that's good enough for NASA but when the connector isn't available I like to mesh the wires together and tin them both with, uh, with solder. That's been my go-to for years and it's served me well but if you ask 10 people how to wire things you'll get 10 different answers. So one of the things I had to do to get the ECU installed is reference this boost line, which will go from the manifold all the way through this grommet and into the cabin uh, where the sensor pickup for the ECU is. Uh, that was an absolute fight, uh, but we're just about to get it teed in to the manifold here and the fuel pressure regulator there. Okay, so we've got the ECU vacuum line tied into the fuel pressure regulator uh, and that runs all the way into the firewall through a factory grommet. Uh, time to pull a little bit of slack and uh, I've already run the wires that will go to the ECU up through the cabin. Those are getting ready to be uh, crimped on to the uh, ignition tower. All right then, let's keep wiring. Well, okay, we've fast forwarded a little bit. I uh, went ahead and got some stuff done off camera. Uh, I got the coil packs mounted uh, on the bulkhead. I, I went ahead and did that with some riv nuts. Uh, I got the, um, the spark plug wires installed on them and I pinned that connector uh, for it, uh, for the quad spark distribution block. Um, and I went ahead and connected that. We have our wires, our trigger wires, uh, for the quad spark uh, run through the bulkhead uh, and all I have to do is wire them to those, connect them up and uh, put some heat shrink on them uh, and then this side will be totally done and then all we have to do is deal with all this mess. Um, this isn't quite as bad as it looks. Um, we have the other end of those cables uh, that were going through the bulkhead that I have to pin into 
the back of this connector, which will go into the back of the ECU. Um, and other than that, got to mount the ECU, got to mount the vacuum line that we teed off onto the manifold into the ECU, uh, and then plug the ECU into that. Um, but it's late and I think I'm done for the night. Here we're measuring for the size bracket I'll need in order to have the plug line up in the factory location. Then it's over to the old stomp shear to chop it out of my sheet and get some holes marked and drilled. This bracket, although pretty, needed a good little bit of modification once it was in the, in the car. I actually had to put some different angles on it to get the back end of the new Mega Squirt computer out of the way of the bulkhead, as they are quite different shaped computers. Well, it's the next day and I was able to get most of the ECU uh, wiring and setup and install squared away. Uh, wiring really isn't my strong suit and luckily there's a lot of online information to help me get squared away. Let me show you what I got. We were able to get the quad spark installed, screwed down and wired into the wasted spark coil packs. I was able to get the quad spark wired into the harness that goes to the ECU through the firewall. Uh, we went ahead and tidied up where the, uh, the plug wires were going and then inside the car I was able to get the Mega Squirt ECU mounted inside uh, pretty much where the factory uh, ECU goes but I had to make this plate uh, for it to bolt to uh, because the bolt patterns are nothing alike. Uh, I pretty much just chucked all of the wideband wiring in the glove box for now, with the exception of the actual wire going to the, uh, the gauge that's in there. I still have to run the ground and the power wire and the headlight uh, signal wire to the widebands, uh, but other than that, that should be good to go. Yeah.